children today we will be looking at the first three kingdoms out of the five kingdom system of classification the first one being monera second protista and the third fungi let's take out page number 2 of the textbook and refer to it for the first kingdom they have asked us to conduct a small activity you can see on the screen take a small drop of curd or buttermilk on a clean glass slide dilute it with a little water carefully keep a cover slip observe it under high power of compound microscope what did you see you will be able to see small rod like microbes which are moving these are the lactobacilli bacteria this is found in curds lactobacilli help with the conversion of milk into yogurt all type of bacteria and blue green algae are included in the kingdom monera now what make this kingdom unique that is what are the characteristics of kingdom monera the first one is that all the organisms in this kingdom are unicellular which means they have a single cell they may be autotrophic or heterotrophic that is they might be able to produce their own food through the process of photosynthesis or they might be ingesting food through different ways these are prokaryotic cells without distinct nucleus or cell organelle so the third point says they are prokaryotic cells what are prokaryotic cells prokaryotic cells basically means that they are primitive cells and they do not have a clear distinct nucleus nor do they have cell organelles like the eukaryotic cells our second kingdom is protista let's perform this activity to see how many microbes can we see in a drop of pond water you will find some of them are moving and have irregular shapes
Let's study the various characteristics of this kingdom. Protista are single celled organism with well defined nucleus enclosed in a nuclear membrane. So now what does this mean? Are they prokaryotic cells? No, they are not prokaryotic cells. They are eukaryotic cells. Okay, why? Because they have a well defined nucleus but still they are unicellular organisms the second characteristic is for locomotion now this word locomotion means movement they have pseudopodia what does this word pseudopodia mean pseudopodia means false feet okay so they have something like a hair which is called as cilia or they could have a whip like flagella. Now the mode of nutrition in protista can be again autotropes or heterotropes. Now what was autotropes? Autotropes mean that the organism can make its own food while heterotropes are organisms which ingest their food. So here they have given you two examples of autotropes. The first one is euglena and the second one is volvox. Why are they autotropes? Because they contain chloroplast. The examples for heterotropes are amoeba and paramecium. We are coming to the third kingdom that is fungi. On the screen, you can see a microscopic image of fungi. In this kingdom, we have unicellular organisms as well as multicellular organisms. The examples of unicellular organisms are Baker's yeast, Candida and the examples of multicellular fungi are asparagus and mushrooms now the next thing we can say about fungi is that it consists of a eukaryotic cell which means it is a developed cell which has a distinct nucleus and cell organelle the second characteristic of fungi is that it is a non-green organism. So what does this mean? That means it does not have chloroplast in it. Since it does not have chloroplast in it, it cannot be an autotrope. It is a heterotrope. That is, it depends on other organism for its food. Now, most of them are saprotropes, which means they feed upon decaying organic matter. The next characteristic is that their cell wall is made up of tough and complex sugar called chitin. You need to remember that some fungi are thread like and it has many nuclei present in the cytoplasm. So we have discussed the three kingdoms out of the five kingdom system of Whittakers. The kingdoms that we have discussed only deal with microbes or microorganisms.